Hello everyone, this is Arlene Mendez and today I'm going to show you the paintings that I made and actually I just started painting again for the longest while I haven't been doing it and now that uh, you know um, I've seen all my items or my painting products that uh, I have in the house so I just decided to go into painting again and uh, this is very nice because you know at least I can do um, the paintings on my extra time um, no rush and uh, yeah so this is one of the paintings that I've been doing for a few hours and once this is done I'm going to show you as well the outcome of this and what I did I just put um, a bear on this painting so at least uh, it connotes or you know um, it's no time here in Canada so I just uh, decided to put a bear and also um, the um, trees I have been using the uh, um, fan like the fan brush so that I have a better um, capture of the um, trees that we have the pine trees so um, when you are painting you have to make sure that you know where the source of the light is so like on my painting here I imagine that the sun is on my left side so that's why all the yellow um, paints are in also facing that direction and uh, also, I have put um, some little pine trees at the back of the painting so that um, it looks like 3D. So there you go. And when before I painted, actually, I put um, paint under this uh, painting. You have to make sure that whatever is your, um, like, uh, whatever kind you want to paint, it's the color is contrast on what you are trying to project. So next time, I'm going to show you what uh, I'm trying to um, say, like uh, from the start till begin, from the start till the end. And also, um, with the good thing with this fan brush is uh, it's not only the trees that I can make out of it. I can also use this for like just highlighting this, um, the ones that I already made, and even for the rocks here that, the, you know, as I said, the uh, yellow is uh, on that side. So I'm trying to put some highlight, yeah, putting some yellow here as well. And uh, yeah, on the bear, I put some white stuff because, you know, the snow is dripping. So that's why it's better to make it uh, look like you know he has to shake his body so that the snow can be removed from his um fur and there's also some yellow painting here because of the sun and also here so once you do the base first and then try just to uh, keep uh, putting some other colors so you don't mix all your colors um, one time you have to make sure as well that uh, you mix the colors that you want to um, put in your painting while you are doing it don't mix it all together and uh, the product that I may use for this one is acrylic and also the canvas there you go so let's uh, see if uh, something else can be done with this um, the base that I use is silver because uh, as you can see also it's a little bit of glittering in there or the light is showing better because of the silver or and uh, the trees I just um, projected as well as you know that some trees not the pine trees don't have leaves right now so those are just stems on the, the other side as well and yeah, so this is my painting for today. I will also show you other pictures that I did already. This is the base that I'm going to paint today. And uh, I have selected at least just six colors to make this landscape. And I'm trying to achieve the uh, mountains uh, in the western part of Canada and as you can see um, there's nothing in there yet and uh, what I'm going to do is put trees in here 
like the pine trees and uh, this is my water and of course this is again pine trees and uh, that's the mountain like the rocky mountain that i'm going to do and also this is a little bit of land right here so this is how i do my painting i just kind of um, do the uh, sketch first i mean uh, not sketch but uh, just with the paint and it's th those are the mountains that i'm going to do and assuming that the light is on the, my left side and of course i also have some clouds in there already in which i'm also going to do that, that later on um, make more texture or put more texture on the clouds once i'm done with the uh, trees and the waters part of it so th these are the paintings or the paints that i'm going to use we have the uh, yellow ochre and then the yellow plus the black and of course um, the cobalt blue the white and the green so i'm just going to do this uh, a little bit later and uh, since i have the base now i am also um combining the colors like what i have is the black the green and the white so i just have those and uh, we're going to start with the pine tree this is the uh, snow with the bear that uh, i was uh, doing and it's done now I, i'm thinking of adding more um, lights on the tree so next video i will show it to you as well once actually i said it's done but uh, i may have to put more colors in there so that's also the tree and i mentioned before that the, you know on um, the shadow has to be like where the sun is that's where you put your like uh, the yellow parts in there so i tap more yellow and then i put some here as well and that's the pair that uh, i did and he's just looking at the water right now i think he's thirsty <laughs> so that's what i've done so far with the bear and yeah so i will continue um doing some stuff on this one maybe a few more colors but not too much because right now it's already looking good <laughs> 